College Connect yeah. is designed to help uh, disadvantaged children. Absolutely. Get and through so, it and, and figure out how they're going to move on with life. Right. So we have Dr. David Morrison from College Connect with us to help share some of those um, exciting stories and things that you're doing with your students there. Tell us. Thank you for being here. First Absolutely. Of all. I, I am here. delighted to be here and always eager to talk about uh, what we're doing. College Connect is a support service to come along students with high functioning autism to be successful in an academic environment. And it's interesting because the gap has emerged where students from K-12 believing or having evidence that they're successful at that level find it to be very challenging when they get into a higher education atmosphere. So we come along beside them supporting other disability services to help them navigate and really manage the stressors of higher education. Where is the school? College uh, Connect uh, has uh, provides its services as a pilot program at Citrus College. Mm -hmm. So right now we're at Citrus and have been there for the last uh, few years uh, developing programs collaboratively with Citrus, uh, with Regional Center, and our staff to provide the clinical support services so that they can be successful. So how, how does College Connect uh, differ from other programs? Great question. And what we don't do is duplicate or replicate the kinds of services that are being offered already at the higher education level. So Citrus, for example, has a disabilities office. They have support services for those students. But what we identified, and it's a conversation that's happening both nationally and internationally, as we've got a growing number of students that are emerging into this need, they're in the gap between what to do actually with them after high school. Support services are there with the assumption that students can access those services and be able to implement what they know and can access. What we find is there's a gap between knowledge and, implement, and being able to implement that knowledge. So we support them in accessing the very systems that are in place for them so that they can manage and be successful in, in their higher education pursuits. So tell me about a typical student, kind of their start through their success in your program and, and where they end. Do they get a degree then or some kind of certi certification and then they they obviously are looking for work. Yeah, the goal is, the common goal that we have is that there is a completion goal, that they're not just in higher education taking courses and stalling out, but the educational process will lead them to something, lead them to either a vocational path and towards uh, an academic path. And again, probably the, the best metaphor between the two dynamics or the gap is that when we look at what happens at the K-12 level, it's almost analogous to miniature golf. So the support systems there in the environment kind of make it manageable for the student to be successful. If you're successful at a miniature golf level, doesn't mean you're going to be successful on an open 18-hole course. We become kind of an academic institutional caddy where we're not doing the service for the student, but we're helping them manage it you know, the dynamics that they have to contend with in, in, a, in a broader sense. So we have students that will come to us with every indication that they can be successful. Uh, and that evidence of that is they have A's, B's, and C's at their K-12 level. They get to the college level and it has a complete different dynamic. They melt down, they get overwhelmed, and they're confused as to why they could be successful in one environment and it doesn't generalize over effectively to another environment. So, so ideally, the end goal is to help them gain employment. Absolutely, to, yeah, to be able to help them identify what their uh, optimum potential is so that they can thrive in life throughout the balance of their life. It's kind of the what next after high school, and we don't want students that are very capable, otherwise very capable, to stall out at home and not continue to advance. So this is kind of an accelerant to help them advance uh, to, to reach their potential. That's great. And how do people apply for these, these classes? Uh, what they do is all of our uh, students are with regional centers. So they're all regional center uh, clients. Uh, if a family has a, uh, a student that's a regional center uh, student, they would t contact their service coordinator and initiate the conversation with the service coordinator and then uh, we would be contacted. We do an assessment and then determine a, an individualized plan for them uh, as they go through the program. Great, great. Dr. David Morrison, thank you very much we for being here. We appreciate you us. being here. I was delighted to be here as well. Great, great. Thank you. Well, thank our you. favorite segment's coming up next. I know. We've got the Taste of Sunrise with uh, the catering Chef, of Paris. Right. Chef Yuri is coming on to show us how to make some crepes next.
Did you zoom in? Oh my goodness.